they call a school. And now everything is starting to come to a head. Because uh, the, the lizard bitch been dead since like 2018. And you know the day that she died because the crest fell off the gates of Buckingham Palace. That wasn't an accident. That was the same. If you look at uh, Prince Charles, King Charles, whatever the fuck he want to call himself tomorrow. But if you look at him at the funeral, how disheveled he looked, that's the, the cow toe ritual of them Sandy Lodge. Okay. Right. His tie is the uh, cable tie. The cow tie. And then he got his dish shot. Only thing he didn't do is have his pants leg up. That's it. So what was the point of delaying um, putting people in the know that Queen Elizabeth had died? Wait a minute, so ask that question again. What was the point of delaying putting out the information that the Queen Elizabeth had died? Because it's it's critical things that follow that. First of all, it's a signal for a power change. Chess. What happened to me and you playing chess and I take your queen? Shit, I'm vulnerable. <laughs> vulnerable and, and the odds is, is you're not going to win that game. Right. It's almost over. Well, the queen in real life is the king on the chessboard. Well, what happened when I take your king on the chessboard? I still have a chance with my queen because I can move all over the board. Right, but when I take your king, what's the... uh? Oh, when you take my king, that's checkmate. Checkmate. That's what it means. Checkmate. And the checkmate, now they have to close the game. If you in Vegas and you at the crap table, you hear the owner of the... Uh, or the manager of the casino say, everybody that's cashing out, report to the cash out center, all games are closed. What would that mean economically for that casino? That mean they finna count up their money. Right. Pay who they gonna pay to close up shop. Casinos run 24 hours. So if the casinos is running 24 hours and the guy that, that's running the casino say cash out, well, you want to hold on to your poker chips or you want to cash them in? Because you once, once they cashed in, or if you don't cash them in in the allotted time, you won't be able to cash them in. Right. Right. So this is what we're looking at. The game is over. So have they already appointed who's going to take her position? It's not announced, but none of them. It's our time to shine. Now, it's our world. The new world is ours. Oh, <coughs> yeah. So. The white oh, okay. man's world over with. You said, say that again? The white man's world is over with. So, I was speaking with Brother Love about, um, you know, the alchemy of the letters and the language. I'm the language teacher for everybody, um, pretty much. Um, and Brother Love is my mentor, so he kind of sort of... Uh, you know, try to guide me right as far as like, you know, how to actually, um, you know, presentation basically. So my question is, what does us learning our language um, have to do, if, if it does any, with us actually being in the new world and projecting ourselves in the new world to thrive in that new world? Okay, so in the new world, everything is, is, is frequency. It's vibration and frequency. The linguistics is directly tied to the vibration and frequency of the electromagnetic grid. Nuwapic was designed for a specific reason. Poppy, uh, uh, Dr. York could tell us why he put it out. If I think it's in the introduction um, text to the language of why that he came out with the Nuwapic. Because we finished... All of the organic people to the uh, so-called Americas is going to be enrolled in New Wapic. So you one of the ones who's going to have to be the teacher of teachers in order to um, raise the vibration. It's about tones and sounds. Okay. So you say the new world is about frequency. And will New Wapic be a language in your mind that will replace um, the law of vibrational frequencies that are being put out there? 
Absolutely. We're going we gonna to be going to Nuwapic class for all of the organics. Anybody that want to learn Nuwapic is going to be welcome to, to learn it because we going to, uh, English is going to be in the future where Latin is now. Right. Right. So the only place you find Latin is in legal leagues and medical leagues. Or if you're doing some old recitation of some Christmas. <laughs> um, yeah, it's showtime now. Yeah, it's showtime. It's been showtime, but now it's definitely that that catch on. Everybody's catching on season. And I love it. I absolutely love it. It's exhilarating like that young man that, that just left. I definitely feel the same way. I'm ready to go. Ready to go. What are we waiting for? Stop talking about the type of shoes we go wear. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's where I'm yeah. at. But uh, I just wanted to, you know, give you high uh, praise and vibration for what you're doing, what you're maintaining. I appreciate it. We need it. Um, we've always needed it. A lot of us, and you know, would be speaking, but people are sitting there like they don't know what you're talking about. They know what you're talking about. We like to lie to ourselves in this uh, this world. Uh, but now mm -hmm. the lies won't hold up. So I'm on that bliss. Yeah. Super bliss. Uh, Blackfoot representing North Carolina Rock sure, Mountain. Sure. <laughs> I reside in Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't want to yeah. hold you too much, but uh keep doing what you're doing. I'm doing what I can do in Connecticut. We're gonna shine this light, uh, cause it's here. Yep, keep it going. True ain't high no, energy is no here. Yeah. yeah. Earth is showing us on, on all levels. Whether I mean the downloads are out of control, guys, fast. Be clear on the inside and listen. Listen to your first thought. That's you. Second thought mm -hmm. is the, the, the one that, you know, second guesses. But that first. The program. <laughs> when that first in the morning hits your mind, it's undeniable. It's the answer to the question that you already put out there. So I hope more young people uh, tap in. I hope more people our age group rod tap in. Because <laughs> they still trying to act frozen in the game. And they knew better. We've been talking this underneath the cloak of music uh, and entertainment. So. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the ones that irk my nerves is them diet woke niggas that be trying to sell us back our history for a fee. Yeah, um, and I don't know if you noticed, but in your chats and everybody else's chats, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say it every single time. You came here butt naked. You don't need no title for nothing. Claim your greatness. You. That's it. Period. Everybody, oh, I'm a more, I'm a this. Like, you don't know shit. Mm. <laughs> All you know <laughs> is that you were born butt naked. And that we have That's the greatness. It. We have the greatness if you tap the hell in. Butt naked. Free minded. But, yeah. I'm with all that, what you just said. That's not right on point. I couldn't have said it no better. You can't keep trying to put a hat on the foolishness. You can't put on a different type of shoes for the war. Let's go. It's going to be a surprise to a lot of motherfuckers out here. Yeah, they ain't shit. listening. I love Look. it because they about to get the reality. When them when the ships come open, when them weather I got ships... It's people that watch every video I do in secret. Oh, of course. Afraid to see. They don't want nobody else. To, they don't want nobody hear him talk, listening. They don't want to hear nobody hear him listening to me. Mm -hmm. But they know what I'm talking about. I know what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So then they'll go act like they know something and go tell it to somebody, but they can't defend their position because they just yeah. heard me say it. Right. This is deeply rooted. It's it's uh, a vine of information that carries you to more information. Light codes are source information from our sun to our cellular level. People, if you eating dead, you ain't gonna live. Period. If you're watching TV too much, your mind is dead. Okay? You need to be spiritually awakened by reading, being out in nature, and questioning everything. If you're not using this critical thinking, I don't know what you're using your brain for. I really don't. And I'm going to tell you, when you they get high, you should be even better because you got the deep breathing factor. Don't just smoke mm -hmm. it to smoke it down. Smoke it to get up. People are so Indeed. lame. <laughs> yeah, you got that right on point. So you know, it, uh, the marijuana strengthens something called an endocannabinoid system. Right, right. Yeah, that's your spirit body. Yes, it is. And uh, So when your spirit body weak and you smoke marijuana, you fall asleep. Right, right. That's that realm that we want to be in. <laughs> yeah, but the reason why you fall asleep is because you can't maintain that awakened spirit body in the physical world yet. It's a heavy bridge. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. But once you build your building your tolerance up, you're building the strength. It's like weightlifting for your spirit body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. 
Like reading is weightlifting for the brain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So you're getting your brain in, in condition mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're using the, the reading as a training technique. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It's all relevant. Yeah, cool. We play too many games listening to somebody that doesn't like all of the, the connections we have. Uh, you can't listen mm -hmm. to your enemy about your greatness. That's foolishness. Um, so I really want to tap into every single sovereign being to know uh, and allow them to know that you don't need to be policed. You don't need to be uh, doctored. <clears throat> you don't need to be lawyered. You don't need to be any of these things. Half the shit didn't exist a few thousands of years ago, a few hundreds of years ago. Uh, so where were you then? Our greatness keeps getting recycled over and over, which says that we need to understand and overstand and understand. It has nothing to do with the outward part. It's all inward with recycling. It's all inward light uh, and darkness at the same time. We have to grasp both. Um, mm -hmm. It's been a very, very powerful journey. I'll say that uh, because, like you said, whenever you tapped in, then devils come for you. Um, sister said a few, uh, few uh, lives back that. Uh, people were coming for her and she had to deal with them on the low. We've been dealing with the silent demons forever. Forever. Now we're ready to confront them, which I think is the most amazing feeling. It's always a dance for me. I wake up with the dance laughing. I'm Ross, okay? Listen to that Rastafarian music chanting down Bobby Lon and the Beast. Man, get in there. Tap into that energy because it's the truth. We've been putting it in song forever. We've been chanting it down. Now it's coming, y'all. It's coming. It's here. Yeah, chant down it's Babylon. It's here. So somebody it's... asked me what Mississippi got to do with this. Uh, Chief Malik Angel Bay from Mississippi, Larry Hoover from Mississippi, and I think Tukey a Mississippian, but I think his I think he go through Louisiana, okay. right? So all of the three chiefs is Mississippian Indians. Mm-hmm. True brother down there. Yeah, so, and, and then you got to keep in mind, my father and my mother both from Mississippi. Mm -mm. Gotcha. They, my father from up by Jackson, which is uh, northeast Mississippi, and my mother is down by Macomb, which is southwest Mississippi. Copy. Yeah, so my mama went there, left there. She, her training ground was New Orleans before she went to lay down her hand in Chicago. <laughs> And that's where her and my father crossed paths at. Mm. Right. So my mama knew Jeff, Chief Malik Angel Bay. She knew King David personally. She knew um, Larry Hoover personally. My sister you went to school with Larry and Jeff. Wow. You know, um, my, my mama also know Tukey because my mom used to live in California. So she... Mm -hmm. No, Tuki through family members of man out there, mm -hmm. right? So she knew all of them. I think it's so now bloodlines are starting to uh, be revealed because that's mm -hmm. all it is, is: the bloodlines coming up. That's all it yeah. is. This ain't no and secret. It, that's the prophecy. Mm -hmm. yeah, what you just said is the prophecy. Damn that word for word. <laughs> yeah, coming. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. I often um, wonder about. Um, Larry being similar or close to that, uh, the line of Judah bloodline. I've been trying to find out information about that with regards to uh, Ethiopian uh, church, because uh, I think you mentioned something about Menelik, which brings that all the way back to the East, you know, African. Yeah, so we, we, we're getting right back to Haley Selassie and Rasta roots again. Correct. And uh, so when we get over there, we're talking about Al Kupt. Mm -hmm. Our is what they call the Copts yeah. or the Coptics. The Coptic, yeah. And they was the Christians before Constantine's Christianity. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is why you have a church of Ethiopia that's Coptic, mm -hmm. but your church of Rome is Roman. Yeah, it's Roman, yeah. It's a totally different system. Mm -hmm. But they they took many of the texts and they distorted the, the, the writing. So if you want a real want to know what it really said, you would get you a Coptic Bible and not get a King James Version. Correct. Yeah, I read the Kebra de Nagas. I've uh, read Dao De Chen. I've read pretty pretty much gone deep with uh, 
with literature over the years. Um, mm -hmm. I intentionally, when I was uh, getting ready to have my son here in the States, uh, autism was starting to rise really high. So my husband and I decided to move. We moved to West Africa, Ghana, which was probably the most blessed uh, things that we've ever done. We were able to have our child at home. We were able to educate ourselves on different bloodlines and lineages and tribes while we were there. It was the most magnificent experience. And you can only do things if you have the God within you and you're aware of it. Uh, if you mm -hmm. don't have it in you and you're not aware of it, you're going to sit there questioning everything um, and not going anywhere. Question and move, move in that light. Um, so, yeah, one of my goals is definitely to get over to Ethiopia. I want to see Lala Bella. Uh, people, if you don't know the story of Lala Bella, open up your mind, tap in. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's beautiful. Um, it's all you. It's all full of color. No one's distorted any of that. And when you see it, you don't need nobody to tell you nothing. And that's what we mm -hmm. want. I don't need nobody to label nothing. When you see it, you feel it, you know it. It's all inside. So I don't want to hold you too long, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, sweetie. I'm going to take another call before I end it. All right. Peace. Okay. Well, well, well. We got a problem, so I'm going to talk directly to the motherfuckers who's moving their goddamn snail's pace to get this shit done. I'm do some invites because this is a public notice to Raven Rock <clears throat> and continuity of government. Um, based on the hurricane, Fiona, y'all said raise the fucking sword. So we about to raise the sword. Divine Insight still sitting in there on that bullshit. So we going to do this shit this way. We going to do this shit. You motherfuckers in Raven Rock, you continuity of government motherfuckers watching this shit on the big screen. Thinking that this shit is fun and games, you motherfuckers sitting around, hee hee and ha ha. I ain't clowning around with you bitches. Now, we need to get this situation in Haiti cleared up. Or Fiona gonna tear that motherfucker to shreds. Now, we already got Puerto Rico is in the middle of this shit. And they ain't got nothing. They all they shit closed out. You got Dominica trying to help the motherfuckers in Haiti close this shit out, but they froze on this shit because you motherfuckers letting this motherfucker sit in there. You know who the fuck he is. You know what the fuck they did to try to trap him up. And you motherfuckers just sitting there. Quiet. So whoever it is who got the call, whichever one of you motherfuckers sitting there thinking it's a fucking joke. I don't give a fuck who you is. When this shit turn around, I'm at your motherfucking ass personally. Just letting you know. Now, put this shit on the motherfucking flow. Get the ball rolling. And motherfucker, let's get this shit done. You motherfuckers know what time it is. The people didn't see, they didn't seen enough to know enough of what the fuck going on. So while y'all sitting there scared to move, ask Big Tookie what the fuck to do. Ask Angel Bay. If you motherfuckers don't know what to do, ask the motherfuckers who tired of this shit like us. Ask the minister what the fuck y'all need to be doing. Because apparently y'all not listening to the elders. If you don't know what the fuck to do, give up the fucking position. You bitch made motherfuckers don't need no positions if you're going to have bitch made tendencies under the pressure. Get the man on the road. You know what he need? He need to be in Haiti. And you motherfuckers acting like this shit is a fucking joke. I don't give a fuck what y'all do with the motherfuckers. They don't. They not staying here. But in the meantime, we got business to tend to. And y'all got this man on motherfucking to slab. So y'all need to get off y'all motherfucking ass and do what the fuck need to be done. I don't give a fuck if it's Donald the Duck Trump. I don't give a fuck if it's motherfucking Joe 
the motherfucking creepy ass Biden. I don't give a fuck if it's the motherfucking Kamala, the Ugandan giant. Flop your ass on over there and get that motherfucking shit straightened out. Y'all know who did it. Y'all know what they did. You got the motherfucking paperwork. You got the record. What the fuck is the hole up? Why he got to sit there and wait on you motherfuckers to get done digging in y'all goddamn asses? That's some dumb ass shit. The man got business to tend to that affects too many people for y'all to be playing these bitch games. And just so y'all know, I'm talking to the motherfuckers over in Raven Rock, Colorado, in the Cheyenne Mountains, that's watching this shit on the big screen. No, no, they don't have to. I see you motherfuckers standing around with your mouth hanging open like y'all don't know what the fuck going on down there. You motherfuckers all seeing eye, you stupid bitches. Control remote viewing. Remember, you assholes. Get this shit rolling. I don't give a fuck about Chuck. Fuck Charlie. Run that motherfucker over with a pack of wolves. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about none of that shit going on over there. The motherfuckers ain't had no business coming over here fucking with us in the first goddamn place. Now get them motherfuckers everything they earn. And treat them motherfuckers with the same goddamn respect that they treated us. Kick them motherfuckers in the crack of their ass on their way to